Hi, how is everyone? If this is your first time connecting with me, my name is Joy. I'm an energy healer and spiritual advisor. My passion is to raise people's vibration for a better new earth living. So how was everyone handling the Mercury retrograde? The energy could be very intense for some people that might experience some confusion and chaos in life. But the good news is there are no planets in retrograde in the next 10 days. So we might as well take this opportunity to manifest what we wish for. So on the first day of each month, I will share some useful manifestation tips, followed by a guided meditation. If you have any questions want to ask me, please type in the comments and I will answer your questions after the meditation. So today I'm going to talk about three things that are holding people back for financial abundance. As creators, we are abundant in infinite, but as human beings on earth, we experience limitations or create blockages for ourselves. So it's equivalent important to let go of what are holding us back before we go ahead for the manifestation. So what are the three things? Number one is a negative association with wealth and money. Money is a form of energy and it's neutral itself. There's no good or bad. However, people's belief system about money is affecting how they perceive money in their lives. If people have negative thoughts, such as money is the root of evil, or people feel rich is equivalent to greedy, it's unlikely to attract or remain financial abundance. You'd be surprised at how people's beliefs about wealth and money are influenced by this society, parents, or education system that have great impact on the subconscious mind. So don't let the negative association about wealth and money hold you back. Shift the consciousness mind to more positive that will help you to attract more financial abundance. Number two is giving excuses or justifications. Sometimes people will pass on the blame to the outside environment or to certain people without realizing this is victimizing themselves and give their power away. In order to take the power back, apart from letting go of the belief system that, has, that is holding you back, People also need to stop making excuses or justifications. It's important to take the other responsibilities then move forward from the current situation. So number three is lack of confidence or fear of inadequacy. It's very common for people to have the mentality of lacking or the fear of not having enough money. We know in the law of attraction, people attract the frequency they are emitting. So the lack of confidence or feeling inadequate are the brick walls or blockages people often created for themselves, knowingly or unknowingly. So in today's guided meditation, we'll be tuning in the abundance energy and remove the blockages that are holding us back. Now let's get ready. In your comfortable position, close your eyes, take a deep breath in and breathe out. Take another breath in and breathe out again. When you breathe in, you breathe in relaxation. And when you breathe out, you breathe out all the tensions, worries, and thoughts in your mind. Let's do it again. Breathe in the relaxation and breathe out all the tension. Now, I want you to connect to your heart center. Try to feel the energy in the center of your chest. As you keep breathing in and out, you feel the energy or visualize as an energy ball in the center of your chest. As you keep breathing, this energy field is expanding bigger and bigger like a balloon until it covers your whole body. And I'll give you a moment to build up the energy.
now try to feel this energy bomb. You can give it any colors. This is a protection shield that is connecting to your higher self. Now tell your protection shield and it is called the energies you're releasing today is not coming back to you. Now I want you to keep breathing. In the meantime, navigate any blockages in your energy field or in your physical body. So keep breathing in the healing energy I'm sending to you and breathe out any discordant energies in your energy field. In the meantime, ask your higher self to take care of it. So keep breathing in the healing energy and breathe out any discordant energy that is no longer serving you. So let's keep doing this in the next few minutes. I want you to visualize the abundance energy flows like a water coming to you in all directions. You can give it any colors that is drawn to you. Feel the water abundance is coming to you from the top, from the side of the body, and also from the ground. If you feel there's something blocking the energy flow, it can be any like negative thoughts or any images. Just release them with your out breath. I want you to keep doing this for the next seven to eight minutes until you feel the flow of abundance energy that is full of joy, happiness, and fulfillment is coming to you without any obstacles. Do you feel this nurturing energy is filling up? every cell in your body.
Now take a deep breath in and bring your awareness back to your body. Move your hands and move your feet and slowly open your eyes. Don't forget to drink some more water to help you to detox. And you can repeat this exercise whenever you need it. And today I'm going to show you another manifestation technique you can use with writing. So before your next meditation, write down the list you want to manifest in sentences, starting with I have. And after the meditation, you write down the list on a piece of paper for seven times as if you are writing a check to the universe. And repeat this exercise for at least seven days. If you can insist for 21 days, it will help you to reprogram your subconscious mind. After the manifestation exercise, you need to trust the higher self and allow time to make things happen. Depends on what you want to manifest. Some will happen quickly and some might take some time to fall in place. So don't forget that some manifestation also involve your hard work. It works both ways. And I hope these tips from today will assist you with your manifestation. You're welcome to write down your feedback or questions from today's meditation. In my playlist, you can find some healing music I recommended. There are crystal healing, self-empowerment, and other meditation videos. They are offered to raise people's vibration and expand their consciousness. Please like my video and share them around to help people in need. And don't forget to check out the free offer on my website in the description section below. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.